the key components of the system are the controls, which this is part of the control system, and also an outside air damper that uh, switches between recirculating uh, air in the house and, and bringing in outside air. And the, the real <clears throat> tricky thing that, that we focused on with the development of the controls was to have it smart enough to know uh, when, when it needed to ventilate with more air on the hotter days and less air on the cooler days. So we maintain comfort by not overcooling the house uh, on, on the uh, mild days, but, but also maintain comfort on the hotter days by moving more air and trying to cool the house to a lower temperature. So we can, there's the concept of pre-cooling and adapting to the weather, right. this sort of thing. Well, one of the things we noticed in, in, in the night breeze, it looks just like any other thermostatic control, really. Mm -hmm. And you're setting, it's, it really isn't any more complicated because you're basically just setting heating and cooling set points, correct, right. a program. But on the cooling side, now there's this other uh, mode of night ventilation cooling that's really sort of the preferred cooling mode mm -hmm. and the mechanical cooling or air conditioning system really only would come on if uh, if the night ventilation doesn't provide enough cooling correct that's correct yeah okay well so the components of the system here we're in front of the controller again very simple very occupant uh, friendly no more complicated than a, than a normal hopefully less complicated <laughs> We, we strived very hard. We had a sociologist on our team to, uh, to try to make it simple and also convey, uh, you know, the, the, the proper settings for achieving the most energy savings uh, to, to the user. Great. And there's the one, there's an override. I can, we can turn the fan on. So if we, had a, if we had a party and 30 people in here and enjoying ourselves and a lot of body heat, uh, we can actually manually turn on the, the, uh, the outside air, the, the damper that allows the outside air to come in and, and cool. Mm -hmm. Let's go take a look, uh, Dave, at, uh, at the damper and, and the fan. We're upstairs now in the home uh, and we're below the combination return air plenum and night breeze damper uh, that's above us here in the ceiling. Dave, uh, can you explain how does this component uh, fit into the system? Well, an important part of the system is uh, the ability to bring in either outside air or indoor air and, and recirculate it through the uh, heating and cooling system. And so this damper simply switches between outside air and return air, and it's basically a four-way damper. So it is uh, drawing air in from the house, and then it's delivering air uh, either from the house or from outdoors into the heat pump. And then it's also, when, it's, when it is drawing in outdoor air, it's allowing the pressurized air from inside the house to be relieved to the outside. So there's two dampers in there that allow that to happen. Okay, so normally we would just have a return air plenum and collector and we would always, when we're heating and cooling, we're just recirculating indoor air through a heat pump using a, a fan or a mm -hmm. coil and, and right. uh, redistributing it throughout the house. Correct. Okay, in this case, we've added a fresh air intake, mm -hmm. correct? A, a pipe to the outside that comes into this plenum. And then the damper mechanism is what allows us to call to, to switch and bring fresh air in and exhaust right. stale air out. And that happens automatically from the controls. The controls dictate when that damper should be switched between the return air mode where it's recirculating and the outside air mode where it's bringing in outside air. Okay, so that's the part, again, where there's an external uh, temperature sensor, correct? Right. So now that thermostat control down uh, below on the wall also displays an exterior uh, temperature. So it's right. monitoring. So when we have the temperature differential that says there's cool air outdoors, mm -hmm. then indoors, uh, and we're in cooling mode, that the will automatically then open the damper mechanism here and start bringing the cool air in, correct? That's correct, yeah. Okay, so that's the, that's the ease of, of occupant um, uh, control was what attracted us to the night breeze system is that essentially it's no more complicated or even less complicated than a standard uh, thermostat because we're mon the, the system is monitoring that and uh, it will call for the cooling when, uh, uh, when necessary. Right. Okay, so that's the... Night breeze system. Uh, the only other portion is uh, a fan that's kind of boring to look at, but essentially there's a fan and an air handler that, that, move, that moves the air for us. Correct? Right, it's very important that we use a variable speed fan too, because then we're not moving too much air on nights when we don't need to move as much air. 
and uh, the fan uses much less energy when it's moving less air. So just about a light bulb uh, plus worth of, of energy to, uh, to operate the cooling system. Right, about 1 20th of what the air conditioner would use. Terrific. Well, Dave, thanks for coming and uh, talking to welcome. us about integrated night ventilation cooling.